Welcome to Cravings Control for Fat Loss. I'm your host, Laura Cavallo, former sugar binger, overeater, and yo-yo dieter turned fat loss and cravings coach for hundreds of busy women. Here at Cravings Control for Fat Loss, I'll be sharing mindset, movement, and metabolism strategies for those who are ready to ditch the fat diet cycle and slim down without counting calories, tracking points, or giving up any of the foods they love. Get ready to embrace progress over perfection, grace over guilt, and bring curiosity and learning to the inevitable ups and downs of your life. Expect a decrease in your cravings while seeing and feeling an improvement in how you look, how you feel, and your overall quality of life. I am so excited you're here, boo. Let's get started. Welcome to another episode of Cravings Control for Fat Loss. My name is Laura Cavallo, your cravings coach, and today I want to share with you five quick, satisfy breakfast ideas that you can whip up on the go or prepare ahead of time and start your day off on the right foot. If you've been following this podcast for any amount of time, you know how passionate I am about Satisfil Nutrition, which is my philosophy and approach and how I coach all my clients to help them reduce cravings, hunger, and overeating while helping them slim down and lose inches. Now, I have seen incredible results when clients start to include satisful plates, which is part of our satisful nutrition approach, within two hours of waking up. So today I want to give you some ideas of what satisful breakfast options look like so that you can start to incorporate this into your day-to-day a little bit more and start to see and feel the benefits and the changes from including some of these nutrient-dense meals with some of your favorite crave foods. So as a little recap, Satisful plates has four parts to it. Each part represents a certain category of food, if you will, except for the last part, number four, which is observe, which helps us tune into biofeedback of our body and how our body responds to that particular meal. So the four parts in order are lean, detox, crave, and observe. The first part, lean, stands for a protein-forward food, okay? And we want to lead with one to two palm size of protein on our plate for every meal. In this case, it's going to be for breakfast. Now, a little caveat to this, lean does not mean a lean protein. It doesn't have to be just chicken or eggs or egg whites or low-fat turkey, okay? Lean just stands for feeding the lean, the lean muscle tissue that we build with resistance training and strength training. And we need protein to help build that. So feed the lean, lean. It's going to be a protein forward food. The second portion of satisfied plates is detox. Detox is a fruit or a vegetable that provides lots of nutrients, lots of water and vitamins and helps us feel good. Again, you want to aim for one to two palm size amounts of detox in your satisfied plate. For breakfast, Oftentimes, people don't really want to eat like vegetables, so you can totally go for a fruit. I do like to recommend that with lunch and dinner, that you are having some sort of green or colorful vegetable um, so that you are going to be getting fiber and lots of nutrients with that. And then the third portion is our yum yum. This is what's going to help us get that satisfaction factor from our meals that's going to make us feel like, oh man, that plate was delicious. That was so good. I feel totally satisfied, right? Versus eating something that you're like, yeah, that was healthy, but I'm like craving a chocolate donut now, right? So you want to make your plates yum yum. You want them to be delicious. And crave, you're going to portion that in a smaller amount than you normally would. So for example, for breakfast, if you would normally have two pancakes, your crave portion would be one pancake. If you usually have a whole slice of toast with breakfast potatoes, maybe you would just pick one. Maybe you would have just a slice of toast or the breakfast potatoes. If you tend to have a whole muffin, maybe you'll just have half a muffin, okay? And then the fourth part to satisfy plates is observing. How does this meal make you feel in the hours after you eat it? I like for clients to track their hunger and their cravings within those three, four, five, six hours. And, you know, that's something that we can get a little bit more in depth on in some of our other episodes. But for today's episode, I just want to give you some quick, satisfying breakfast ideas. Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. 
If you're enjoying the podcast, it would mean so much to me if you took less than two minutes to give us five stars and submit a quick review. Your feedback helps other women who are looking for help with their cravings and fat loss goals find us more easily and benefit from the free content we share. Thank you so much. It truly means a lot. So satisfied breakfast idea number one is going to be yogurt with berries and some nuts on top. So yogurt is going to be the lean, okay? I like to go for Greek yogurt. You can do zero or 2%, whatever you enjoy. Even if you have some of those fruit yogurts, I'm not going to say that they're bad, okay, because there's no bad foods. I do want you to just prioritize at least 15 to 30 grams, if not 40 grams, with all of your meals, okay? So take a look at the back of that yogurt packet and see how much protein is going to be in that. Oftentimes, the pre-sort of flavored yogurts tend to have a lot of different things added into it, like artificial flavors and sweeteners and a lot of extra sugar. So again, I'm not going to take it away from you if you totally love it and you don't like Greek yogurt or you don't like plain yogurt. But if you can stand to eat Greek yogurt or plain yogurt, I would love for you to sweeten it with something that's a little bit more whole, like uh, some fruit, even some honey, or a little bit of granola, which would be your crave. So the yogurt would be lean, okay, one to two palm size amount of that. So that might be one to two cups. It's going to be a lot. Two cups is a lot. So if you're a little bit of a smaller person, go for the one palm size amount. Detox is going to be your berries, or it could be a banana, or it could be strawberries or blackberries or what other fruit could you put in that? Mangoes or pineapple could really be anything you want and that you enjoy. And then the crave, just as an example, we're going to add some nuts to it. Okay. But maybe you're someone that likes granola or maybe you're someone that wants a couple slices of bacon on the side with your yogurt and berries. Totally fine. I forgot to mention that crave is going to be particular to you. Crave is going to be, well, really all of these parts of Satisful Plate are your foods, your favorite foods that you have around, the foods that you're already eating, but you're just creating them in different portion sizes. But for some people, their crave might be like more starches and carbs, like breads and muffins and cookies and cakes. For some people, they might have more of a craving for things that are maybe more sugary or sweet or even a little bit more fatty, like bacon and peanut butter and avocados. So your crave, make it your own. So the first satisfying breakfast idea is yogurt as your lean with berries or any fruit and then some nuts on top. Okay. Or you can do granola or half a muffin or some bacon, (laughs) whatever you want it to be. Again, that crave portion is going to be a little bit smaller than what you normally would have. Second satisfying breakfast idea is eggs. Okay. I like to do one or two whole eggs with some extra egg whites on top or mixed in rather, not on top, some extra eggs whites mixed in because now I'm getting pure protein without the added fat from the yolks. But listen, I'm not saying eat all egg whites. That shit's boring, okay? And you get a lot of vitamins from egg yolks. So if you can grab a carton of egg whites and you can throw in some egg whites into one or two whole eggs, amazing. Keep those yolks. We want the vitamins and nutrients from those beautiful yolks. So to these eggs, I might add some sauteed veggies that I have in the fridge from the night before, or I might add in some frozen spinach and I might cook them down together. Or maybe I just make scrambled eggs and I have some fruit on the side as my detox. Okay. So the eggs are the lean, the veggies and the fruit are the detox. And then again, your crave can be anything that you want it to be. For this particular example, I put toast with a little bit of jam on it. Again, it could be bacon. It could be half a muffin. It could be half a granola bar. Make it your own. The idea here is that you're leading with lean and detox as your main parts of satisfied plate, and you're filling up on nourishing, delicious foods, and you're adding in some of those crave foods that you love and give you the yum-yums so that you can stay more compliant throughout the day and feel more satisfied overall instead of obsessing about the bread obsessing about the chocolate bar, obsessing about the cookie or the bacon that you really wanted, and then you end up overeating it at night or on the weekend. The third satisfied breakfast idea is cottage cheese as your lean, cantaloupe as your detox with sprinkled (laughs) salted caramel. (laughs) No, well, salted caramel would sound actually pretty delicious. Salted cashews on top, salted honey roasted cashews on top. 
So again, you're you're leading with that lean and that detox portion. It makes up most of the plate, but you're adding in some of those honey roasted cashews on top that mm, just give you a little bit of that sweetness. And you're like, that's delicious. So yummy. Again, your crave can be anything. It could be half a blueberry muffin. It could be half of a donut. It could be a side of breakfast potatoes. It could be really anything you want it to be. Breakfast idea number four is going to be a protein shake with some fruit inside of it. And again, a side of toast, a side of potatoes, half a donut, whatever that crave food is for you. Now, a lot, I get a lot of questions on protein powders, like which one do you like the best and which one should I buy? Honestly, I have purchased probably over 100 different types of protein powders. They do range in, I guess, the quality of the protein and how many heavy metal byproducts there are in it. I have ordered shit off Amazon. I have ordered stuff off of websites where the price is a little bit higher. In terms of what I recommend, just start with something that's affordable for you that has at least at least 15 grams of protein per serving. I would like to see that a little bit closer to 25 grams or 30. And in my protein shake, I usually do almond milk or um, soy milk sometimes if I have that. I'll do a serving of protein powder to make sure I'm getting at least 25 to 30 grams of protein. And then in that protein shake, I might add some fruit, okay? Or I might add even some spinach and banana, right? I'm getting a lot of detox with that. Instead of maybe toast or potatoes on the side, you can even add some peanut butter to that, okay? Or some almond butter or some flax or some chia. Now, this is where observe is going to come into play because if you're someone that doesn't really get full from drinking things, you may not be as satisfied and feel as full from this meal as maybe you would from a bowl of cottage cheese with cantaloupe and salted cashews. So again, just observe, maybe you take the crave out of it, you take that almond butter out of it, and you have a slice of toast or some potatoes. So you're actually chewing and and feeling more full with the volume of of those foods. Again, this is something that you're just going to have to play around with and see how long it helps keep you full. We want to aim for about our meals to keep us full at least three to five hours. And then the last satisfying breakfast idea is going to be a side of chicken sausage, or you could do pork sausage or whatever other sausage you want, or chicken patties, whatever breakfast patties with a side of fruit or some steamed vegetables, and then a little bit of potatoes on the side. Okay. So I'm leading with that chicken sausage. I'm leading with the fruit or veggies. They're taking up most of my plate. And then I'm adding in a little crave to give me that relief that tasty, that yum yum, that I feel satisfied. So those are five quick satisfying breakfast ideas to get you started, to get you going in the morning. I'd like to include a satisfying breakfast within two hours of waking to help me feel nourished, to help me feel satisfied, to give me the energy to move forward with my day and not rely on things like caffeine or even diet sodas to kind of get me through the morning, okay? So if you are new to eating breakfast, I want you to keep a couple things in mind. You may not be hungry in the morning if you have trained yourself to just have coffee or even have something small. So I'm not saying you have to have this big, massive meal to start. Just start small. Maybe you have one maple sausage link, a couple bites of a banana, and a couple bites of a protein bar or something, or granola bar, and you just kind of get your palate a little wet in the morning. So just know that your hunger and cravings cues are going to be a little bit off initially when you first start, okay? The second thing I want you to keep in mind is we don't want to down a ton of caffeine in the morning because caffeine can suppress our appetite, okay? And it's not going to make you hungry. So I'm not going to take your coffee away from you or your tea or whatever you drink in the morning that has caffeine. However, I do want you to prioritize something to eat after your first cup of coffee. So even if you're still having coffee on an empty stomach, I'm not going to take that away from you, although I would like to see breakfast and coffee eaten together. But after your first cup of coffee, I would like to see something to eat soon after that. Okay. And bonus points, if you can have a cup of water in the morning, then have your coffee with breakfast, if not breakfast shortly thereafter. So I hope that this episode was informative. There is a lot of information on here. 
Satisful Plates is a very powerful yet simple tool that can help you reduce mindless snacking by up to 50% throughout the day when done consistently. And that was something that we did a couple weeks ago in the free cravings cleanup challenge. We had 70 women go through this program and the results were incredible. So I want you to start trying this. Once you do start trying it, please hit me up in the DMs. Let me know how it's going. And if you have any questions, I want to support you along the journey. I hope that was helpful. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next episode.